It's designed to help patients with diabetes, but semaglutide, originally marketed as Ozempic, soon became known for its ability to help patients shed pounds fast. That's when the drug maker began offering a higher dose version, specifically for weight loss. What happened next was a social media storm. I think this whole class of medication is going to change the game for sure. Nurse practitioner and med spa owner Danielle Oyasu takes the drug herself. You can literally go about your daily activities just like normal and the weight will come off. Dramatic pictures, users showing off their slimmer figures. Celebrities started the trend and from Hollywood to neighborhoods across the country, word spread and prescriptions swelled. All the while, users began to shrink. I was eating less. I wasn't thinking about food as much. Also, um, the hunger I experienced prior to taking the medication, I think, was a, an issue. At 50 years old, Danielle's down 30 pounds on semaglutide. The medication is a popular item at her suburban Park Ridge practice. It's been so much so that we now have a waiting list of 50 people. So we can't keep up with the demand. She uses a special pharmacy to mix the doses patients inject once a week. It's a compounded form of this medication, which is perfectly legal, and it's really made the medication more widely available. The cost at Beautifully New, $599 a month. My volume of patients requesting this has been high. However, my population can't afford $1,500 a month uh, for a medication. Dr. Lucy Bianchi stocks Wagovi at her clinic in Northwest Suburban Hoffman Estates. Though she has fewer than 10 people on the more expensive name brand version of semaglutide. She says certain women are good candidates. If I had a nickel for every time I heard this, I'm doing the exact same thing, I'm exercising, I'm eating right, why do I have this big belly? And the answer is always menopause. She recommends the drug for perimenopausal women and pre-diabetics of both sexes. Those are people who are already having a difficult time with weight loss and most of those subgroups tend to be doing the right things but not really really getting the results that they're expecting. Wagovi or semaglutide mimics a natural hormone in the stomach. Instead of allowing food to pass quickly and spike blood sugar, the drug slows down digestion. The idea is to give the body more time to produce enough insulin to keep blood sugar levels normal. The result? People feel full faster. You get that cue a little faster, so you might feel hungry, like, oh, I'm going to eat these four pieces of pizza. And then you start to eat it, and then after a couple bites, you'll, you'll be very full, and you won't be able to finish. All of us are addicted to carbohydrates to one extent or another. Dr. Siri Greeley treats patients with diabetes at University of Chicago Medicine. And so these drugs have been really, really helpful in kind of helping to block that addictive type response and, and helping people to control impulses a little bit better and to help the appetite drive to be reduced. But when supplies ran low in 2022, a lot of people who would have used Wagovi were using Ozempic and that's what kind of created the shortage. The switch left some type 2 diabetes patients in the dust. We are experiencing shortages. It's a very real thing. According to an update from Novo Nordisk, the maker of Ozempic and Wagovi, production has ramped up to meet the unprecedented demand. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling out. My big problem is eating too much when I eat. Like I, I can't stop. Nick Drow started taking semaglutide last July. When I was taking the shot, if I ate like crap, like I would feel sick, like nauseous. Good, awesome. It's a common side effect. The 36 year old gutted through to lose nearly 20 pounds. The medication has to be started out at a very low dose so that you can tolerate it and not have you know, intractable nausea and vomiting or belly pain. Now he balances workouts and healthier eating habits since coming off the drug in January. I couldn't figure out a way to lose the COVID weight. And so this helped get to that point of, I feel comfortable going back to the gym. And uh, uh, my philosophy is now it's on me to kind of make those changes. If you're not gonna make any lifestyle modifications and you return to eating just like you were before, you know, you're likely going to gain weight back. There are other downsides to the medication, including a risk for kidney injury or failure. So patients should stay well hydrated and be properly monitored. Anyone who wants to use the drug should have a full exam and should have some lab work done so that we know 
what their kidney function is like, what their liver function is like. People who should not take Wagobi or semaglutide include those with a family history of certain endocrine system conditions. The medication can increase the risk for thyroid cancer. This is just the latest and greatest diet fad, and the reality is it does work, but if you don't change your habits, it's not going to maintain. So just like anything else, it could be a temporary loss. Some people have reported gaining even more than they lost once they stopped the drugs, while others complain of new wrinkles thanks to the rapid weight loss. As for cost, some insurance companies may cover weight loss medications, and there are other drugs in the pipeline that may be even more effective, including one that helps the body break down sugar and fat. Back to you.